guys she came your lovely said the farm lady and you are welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video today's video is very important and i'll need you guys to stay till the very end now before we go further if you're here to smash on that subscribe button make sure you do that now subscribe turn on your post notification bell and then also like this video so today we are going to be talking about water parameters in aquaculture now there is this misconception about you know water parameters when it comes to aquaculture now a whole lot of farmers you know farmers who just want to start out always see ph as the only parameter important for a successful fish production right and this is very wrong ph is not the only water parameter that you need to check because a lot of people send me messages oh farm lady i you know started spawning my ph is 6.5 my ph is 7.5 and my fries are still dying yes they will keep on dying and here is the reason why ph or your water ph is not the only water parameter that you need to check and put under what control there are so many other water parameters that are important to the health survival and growth of your fish all right now let's move on to some of these water parameters we have three major parameters when it comes to aquaculture which is subdivided into other important parameters right so the first one there is chemical parameters of your water followed by the biological parameters of your water and then finally the physical parameter of your water now let's start with the physical parameters when we talk about physical parameters we are talking about what you can see with your eyes take for example look at this water now physical parameters of this water by me just looking at it i'll say oh this water is turbid right it's turbid you might be um into ethan pond production fish production your water can have you know algae on it is that water okay for you right your water can you know have oil um settlement on the surface of the water right all these are things you can see with your eyes physically so Looking at your water physically, you either tell if the water is fit for what fish production or not. Take for example, someone that is into hatching. I would not expect you to use a water that is dirty, green, right? Or very turbid for your fish spawning. That is a no-no. What is expected is that you use a water that is clear, right? For example, you look at the water here this water is clean so i expect you use a water like this so physically this water looks what fit for what fish production of course some people might say hey, what about those that are into eating pond and all that eating pond yes there are also things you have to take note of you cannot just use any kind of water because well, it's eating pond and then you just you know allow your fishes stay there right so you really have to consider the physical appearance of your water you have to ensure that it is not too turbid you have to ensure that the algae on it is not what too much for those using what eating ponds now when we are talking of biological parameter this is basically talking about the bacterial load in your water now fish have a certain level of bacteria that they can you know live with right there are some that they cannot what live with take for example you have a bacteria um coliform for example if it is too high it's going to affect your fish if it is zero you're safe right so all these kind of bacteria can in one way or the other affect your fish and all this come under what biological aspect of the water and this can only be determined by taking your water to the lab as i'm looking at this water can you tell if the water has any form of bacteria i don't think you can tell these are things you cannot see with your naked eyes right and you only need to what take it to the lab to find out if your water has some bacteria that are harmful 
to your fish you can't see bacteria with your eyes so take your water to the lab to confirm if it is fit for your fish production okay now the last parameter i'm going to be talking about which is very important is the chemical parameters the chemical parameters now the chemical parameters is not just talking about your ph right there are so many other parameters under the chemical parameters that is very important okay now ph is one what is ph potential of hydrogen chemistry students you should know this then we also have the nitrites we also have the nitrates we have carbonates we have the alkalinity of the water we have the total hardness of the water we have the iron content of the water so all these are important right so you can't just you know have a ph meter and test your ph and you have 6.5 to 7.5 or 8 and you say oh i'm good to go no what if the water has iron what if the water has high level of you know um nitrates nitrites what if the water is very hard right the total hardness of the water is high all this is going to what affect your fish and that is why so many hatchers will say oh my fish are dying after two weeks why the reason is that there are so many other parameters that are wrong with your water and all this can only be ascertained by taking your water to the lab please take your water to the lab ph meter is not your problem all of you that are buying only ph meter have you checked other parameters are you sure your water is fit right so you are not sure so in order to get a comprehensive result of what your water is saying at that point in time please take your water to the lab for proper tests carry out the chemical parameter test and also the what biological or the microbial analysis so as to know if your water is not good so as you can see behind me there is a water treatment plant there's a water treatment plant here which is basically meant to correct the chemical parameters of your water this is only going to correct the chemical what parameters of your what water now if you're having issues with you know ph hardness you know iron um nitrates nitrites then you need to what get a water treatment plant installed on your farm right you need to get this for those who are into hatching fish production you need to get this if you're experiencing mortality after two weeks of spawning then you need to what correct the chemical parameters remember this is only going to correct the chemical parameters of your water and there is no you know treatment plant that is the same treatment plants are always made based on the results gotten from the lab right so you cannot just go to another farm and replicate the same thing no it might not work for you because the problem that farmer might be facing is definitely going to be different from what you're facing on your farm okay so if you need something like this you're having you know troubles with your water you're taking your water to the lab and then you need a solution you can reach out to me my number is going to be on the screen now send me a message on whatsapp and then send me your lab result because without your lab result there's nothing that i can do to help you right so the lab result is very important in order to prefer solution to your water problem okay now remember i said this is only going to solve what the chemical issues or the chemical parameters in your water all right now when you are having issues with the biological parameters of your water you know you have a lot of microbial load in your water then there's also a solution for that so many solutions for that and the lab results is going to help us know if we need to you know tackle the issue of microbial loads in your water or any form of bacteria so you can also send us a message my number is going to be on the screen remember the lab result is what is going to help us ascertain the right solution for your water so there's a solution for everything just send a message and i'll be there to answer to you okay so guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give the video a thumbs up 
drop a comment in the comment section right and do well to share it to your family and friends okay <laughs>